We now return to the Big British Baking Show. After a grueling three hour cake bake challenge, we've arrived at the scariest moment in the competition, judgment time. Beth, let's start with you. Please bring your cake to the judges table. So what cake have you made for us today? I made for you a green tea lemon frost cake with sprinkle decoration. Take a closer look. Why is it all smashed? Let's give it a try. So it tastes delicious, but unfortunately the presentation is all smashy. Yeah, I'll see that now. It's a shame. I'm sorry. Right. There's just no way to predict when you're going to get a smashed cake. Your baking is all about luck. And luck was not on my side for this challenge. Toby, you're up. Oh, now this is a beautiful cake. No smashy bits at all. And I love the detail of your decoration. That's right, I can't wait to sink my choppers into this one. Oh, thank you. Oh, my. You've left the cooking sponge in. F what happened? Right before the competition began, I learned that my sister had been beaten to death by apes. Though I'm sorry for your loss, I think you're just making excuses. I agree. This is very disappointing. They were right. I was making excuses. Really what happened is, I didn't know you were supposed to take the cooking sponge out. And last but not least, Peter. Hey, your cake looks like a bunch of dice. Oh, well, that's because it is. Oh good, you know, because in baking, sometimes looks can be deceiving. Hmm. Right, I like it, but I also hate it. It's ice cold and it's, it's burning my mouth. It's physically hurting me. Terrible. I had the dice in the oven for like two hours. I blame God, God hates me. Well, wait that at you, you cunt. All three of you did a tremendous job, but there can be only one champion. It was a close competition. And you all showed great skill. But none of that matters because the champion is a stray dog that wandered into the studio. His cake was too exquisite <coughs> to ignore. Right? I think you will agree with us. Little dog wins, that's rubbish. Every episode of this show ends with the little stray dog winning. It's not fair. I don't even understand how they even get in here. Is there a hole in the wall or something? Am I gonna quit baking just because I lost to a fucking stray dog? I mean, yeah, of course I am. There's stray dogs everywhere. What's the point? They can bake. Oh, I'll definitely keep baking. I don't like it, but I'm afraid that if I stop, I'll die like my sister did earlier today. Thank you for watching the Big British Baking Challenge. Make sure you tune in next week to see if our three new contestants can prove that they're better than a stray dog.